Angels, welcome back to another video. <clears throat> we are back with another makeup video today. It's going to be a little bit more than that. It's going to be a full eyeshadow look along with my hairstyle and my outfit because tonight I'm going to be going to some spooky like boat ride thing. If you guys are not yet subscribed to my couple channel, AEI I Love You, you should go and subscribe to that because we're going to be vlogging for that. But yeah, I already did my face makeup and I'm going to create this look. I'm so excited. It's finally October and I love fall makeup and I just love the weather. It's one of my favorite seasons. So, actually I think it's my favorite season. I love Christmas, but fall's my favorite season for sure. So if you guys want to see how I create that look, then keep watching this video. I already have my face makeup on and we're just going to get started with the eyes. So let's do it. So my makeup brushes are a little bit dirty. The palettes that I'm going to be working most with today are going to be the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Dark Magic Palette which is super fitting for the day. And I'm thinking I'll probably be using some of the Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette as well. I'm gonna be doing some sort of deep green and like warm kind of smoky eye. So like I said, my face makeup is already on and I'm gonna be going in with a transition shade to begin. My transition shade today is going to be Access from the Armed and Gorgeous palette and I'm gonna be using my M504 brush. It's a very fluffy brush and it allows you to just messily put a transition shade on your eyelid. So I am in love with Halloween and fall and this season I'm just so excited because Thanksgiving comes. I don't know, I just love the outfits. Like the transition from wearing bathing suits and everything in summer to just getting cozy and feeling like that bonfire atmosphere, I'm obsessed. My house, I'm gonna show you guys, my house is decorated already for Halloween and for Thanksgiving. It's so exciting. And the babe cave in my house, if you guys have not seen it yet, I'm obsessed. It's so freaking cute. It's so like girly yet spooky. All right, so we just put access on both eyes and what I'm gonna do, just because I don't wanna make this video too, too long, I wanna keep it simple and informative, I'm gonna do one eye and then go back in and do this eye. The next brush we're gonna be working with is the M513 brush and we're gonna be using the shade Agent. It's a little bit darker of an orange and that's gonna go more focused in the crease whereas the last color kinda just went everywhere. And this is giving you that depth. I'm just taking that first shade access and I'm blending the two together so it looks super gradient. So I'm going in with a flat synthetic brush from Morphe. It has no number on it. So using the Dark Magic palette and using this flat synthetic brush, we are going to be going in with the shade Inside Job. That's this guy right here. And we're gonna place that directly on our eyelid. First thing though, take some translucent setting powder and put this underneath your eyes because I don't want any fallout. Now taking inside job, we are going to tap it off and place it directly on the lid. And you wanna to stick to as close as you can to your lash line. The higher you go, the higher you're gonna to have to take colors up and blend them. So sticking as close to the lash line as you can and then going in afterwards with a different brush to blend it out. It allows it so that you don't go too much higher than your crease. It's a look. Oh, I love it already. I look like I got punched in the eye and I'm like, I love it. So I just put it on my lid. And now I'm gonna be going in with my M506 brush. I'm actually gonna go back to the Armed and Gorgeous palette and use the shade Top Secret. It's a little bit darker than the green that's in the Dark Magic palette. And all I'm doing is, in circular motions, just blending this in throughout the crease. And if it helps you guys, you can place the color first, just like grabbing some eyeshadow, placing it on the crease just above where the dark green is, and then start circular motions and blending. If you guys are really comfortable with makeup, you can use a big brush, but I feel like it's a lot easier to use a skinny fluffy brush and more detailed, you know? But if you guys are comfortable with makeup, you can use whatever brushes you want. So as you guys can see, it's starting to do that blending work. And now I'm actually gonna grab Top Secret and Agent and mix them together. I'm just gonna tap into both of them, do the exact same thing. You guys can always go in with the dark green first and then add the oranges afterwards, but if you have transition shades already laid down, then it makes it easier to blend out the eyeshadow than it is to just blend it out on your concealer or your bare skin. I'm going in with my M44 <laughs> my M441 brush and I'm just going to start 
blending it out. It doesn't have any product on it and I'm not gonna add any yet. A clean brush will help blend easily. Going back in with my M513 brush from the very beginning. We're gonna go back in with Agent. I kinda hop back and forth between colors until I found like the perfect blend. Cause sometimes when you blend too much of a dark color, it takes away all the light color. And sometimes if you add too much of a light color, it takes away the shade of the dark color. Like you guys can probably see that my eyelid is a lot more lightened now that I've been doing so much blending. So at the end, I'm gonna have to go and add a little bit more dark green. So it's like back and forth and back and forth. But if you take your time and you blend, it looks really, really nice. I'm gonna add a little bit more agent and do the same thing. Using my M506 brush and taking that green shade again, top secret, I'm gonna do the same thing. Keeping the blending more toward the eyelid though. Now I'm gonna go back in with that clean brush again and do the same thing, blend it out without any extra product. And then going back in with Agent, the orange shade again, I'm blending out the top of that green. I would definitely say placing the color and then blending out, like patting it down and then blending. It seems to work the best. Oh, I love it already. Now I'm gonna take a clean brush, my M330 brush, and I'm gonna add Access, the very first transition shade that we used, and I'm just gonna add that toward the top of this. Now, going all the way back in to the very darkest shade inside job, I'm going to pat that on my lid again because look how much pigment that we lost in that process. And then taking the M506 brush that we had the lighter green shade on. I'm not gonna add any more, I'm just gonna blend out the edges of that. It gets easier as you go. I'm so excited, yesterday I went to the dollar store and bought some Halloween decorations. And I have like spider webs on my bushes out front. And like, I'm that neighbor. It's so cute. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go in with the shade Trickery. And I'm just gonna do this on my finger, honestly. I'm patting it on my lid. Just to give a little extra pop. That just gives it a little bit of shimmer. Just enough. Now I'm going to dust away underneath my eye. Now I'm going in with this brush that I got from my BoxyCharm. The brand is Moda Pro, I guess. It's just kind of a flat, fluffy brush. I'm gonna be taking the shade Access that we started with, using this all the way underneath my eye, all the way to the inner corner. Next, I'm taking another brush that I got from them and I'm going in with Agent. This is a more detailed defining brush and it helps me get right underneath my eyelash line with a more darker shade. I'm gonna be using my M326 brush and I'll be taking Top Secret and adding it right underneath my lash line. And then taking Inside Job, the darkest shade, I'm just gonna place that right underneath my lash line. So we basically created the exact same thing as the top eyelid. Next thing I'll be doing is taking this black eyeliner pencil in Hollywood and Vine, filling in my waterline. We are gonna do a wing, so this is the Hank and Henry Felt Tip Eyeliner. Okay, so we are gonna top off underneath our brow bone with some highlighter, but we're gonna do that at the very end. I'm gonna go complete this eye, throw on some false lashes, and I will be right back. Okay, so I just finished my eyes, and of course I got a little bit carried away and added highlighter already. I'm using my MAC Plum Lip Pencil. And now I'm going in with my MAC Lipstick in the shade Cream de Nude. And now to soften it up, I'm gonna add my Rimmel London Lip Gloss. Stay Glossy in the shade 150. So now all I'm gonna do to my hair is wand it. If you guys don't know how to wand your hair, I will link one of my old hair videos showing you how I wand my hair. And I just love that kind of wave look for the fall. I'm gonna go wand it and then I'm gonna show you how I'll clip it back. Okay, so I added a little bit of jewelry and obviously put my outfit on. So now all I'm doing is taking four bobby pins and I'm going to take, I'm gonna take a little tiny piece of my hair out in the front to leave down. And then the rest of that, I'm gonna take between my fingers and pin it back.
And then I'm gonna take the second pin and cross it. I'm pretty sure almost every hair type you can do this, so hopefully you guys like it. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Little tiny twist and then You guys can leave more pieces down. If you want, you can pin the whole thing back or just leave the hair down. Whatever you guys want to do. I didn't want too much in my face only because we're gonna be on a boat and I'm assuming it might be a little bit windy. To finish off my look, I'm gonna be spraying my hair with some vegan, natural, cruelty-free hairspray. This is from the brand Monet. If you guys did not know, I'm partnered with Monet and you can actually use this as a makeup setting spray. If you guys are interested in these products, this is all that I use on my hair. This and the Perfectly Platinum Shampoo. And that's it. This is my fall hair and makeup and I'm gonna show you guys my outfit and then I gotta run out the door because as usual I'm running late. <laughs> off this look I was actually sent two pairs of sunglasses by this company TIJN I'm not really sure how to pronounce it but I wanted to do a little unboxing for you guys it's cute it's got like rose gold letters and it has this glass cleaner as well as different individual sunglass cases that are leather and beige which are so cute and if you pull them out I actually forgot which pair I told them I wanted so this is their pink pair this is what they look like Oh my god, they're so cute. I'm obsessed, I don't have any glasses like this. I love them. And as you guys know, pink is my favorite color, so you definitely cannot go wrong with that. In this box, if you open them up, I forgot. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This pair, they sent a chain with it. It's the same thing, it has a little cleaner inside of it. And this box comes with, oh my god, I'm definitely wearing these today. I remember them. These are so cute and they came with a chain. Like a gold chain to attach. Okay, I got. I just got the chain on. So you put the chain around your neck and that way you don't have to hold on to it. I'm obsessed with this one. Okay, and this is what they look like on. So you can wear it in front of your neck or behind your neck. And I love these and they match my outfit perfectly. I'm gonna put their website in this video. Make sure you guys go and check them out if you guys like these sunglasses. This is their Instagram page. As you guys can see, they have eyewear of all different sorts. They have sunglasses, they have actual glasses for seeing. As you can see, this is their website. You can access it on their Instagram if you guys click the link. And it shows all types of people wearing it, new arrivals, real clients who actually post pictures in them, as well as the optical and sunwear section. When I was first looking at the website, the thing that stood out to me the most is the variety and the different sizes and frames depending on your style. So the pair that I picked out first was this one with the chain. It's called Aurora. I don't have any glasses that are tortoise designs, so I thought that was really cute. And then the next one were these Valeria crystal pink ones with the gray lenses because I have none like that either. I'll put all the information in the description for you guys, but I'm obsessed with them. Thank you so much, TIJN. And yeah, if you guys have any questions about this brand or about these specific pairs, just DM me and I'll answer them for you guys. But I love them and I have to get going because I have this spooky little boat ride to go to. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you have my post notifications turned on. And make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'm so excited that falls here and yeah, I want to see you guys recreate these looks. So tag me and DM me and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you so much, angels. God bless.